Yo, what is up guys? It is Kill Logue for the win. AKA Chief Killer, AKA Young Kill Logue, AKA the best farmer you've seen yet. You feel me? No, I'm just kidding. But uh anyways, uh today what I'm bringing you guys is a little something different to start off the video. I actually have the Pekka Playhouse, which I've never actually I don't believe I've ever actually shown any single player uh gameplay on my channel in Clash of Clans. It's all been multiplayer or just of my base which is basically multiplayer uh, so basically I wanted to do the Pekka Playhouse because uh, I never three starred this one I think I have like one more to three star after this uh, so leave a comment if you'd like to see any more single player gameplay I'd be pretty open to it uh, this is a pretty pretty easy way to actually destroy the Pekka Playhouse uh, you just go wipe it man you just uh, we could just you could just do it with all Pekkas, but I wanted I wanted to save a little bit of elixir here. I didn't want to use too much elixir, uh, but as you can tell, the Teslas are all on the outside, so that would be one thing to note in this uh, when you're using Pekkas. You might want to spread out your Pekkas a little bit, and maybe not maybe not necessarily make them all go for the center right at once because there's really no not, not too many defenses in the center. The Wizards should be able to take out that stuff uh, fairly easily, but as you can see. These Teslas in this base are no match for the level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s. They absolutely just run through and destroy this uh, this man-made base, this uh, computer developed at Clash of Clans Central, at Supercell Central. Anyways, um, yeah, three-star P.E.K.K.A.s Playhouse, pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Got a little bit of loot from it. Uh, Would have been awesome if I got all the loot at once, but, you know, I'll take what I can get and move on. So, anyways, uh... As you can see here, my base, I have changed it. And I have yet to bring you guys a video of the speed build of it, but I'm going to bring it. And uh, it's really good. It's really awesome. This base is really good. Uh, what I've done to it is I have, or actually right here, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my minions to level 6. But what I've actually done is I've took all the loot, all every single uh, one of my loot storages, including my Dark Elixir storage, and put it all in the center of my base now, if you look at it right now. Uh, and it works extremely well for farming. It's really nice. Uh, so, I finally found a really good Town Hall 10 farming base. Right here, I had it for trophy pushing, just because I wanted to test it out and see how well it did. And it did really well. So, I do enjoy that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, really, I do recommend this base. You guys will see in the speed build. Uh, probably going to add some music to that video. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. I'm probably going to add some music into this video. Uh, I'm not really too sure yet. We'll just see where it takes us. But anyways, as you can see here, I have some Asian guy. Uh, pretty swagged out base but not really it's really clumped up like all his walls were really really compact like I don't know just he needed he needed a little bit more breathing room for his base uh, but unfortunately raiding this guy he had some traps man he had a few traps as you can see those spring traps and that giant bomb definitely did some damage uh, spring trap killed like a few of my hogs at least like six at least like six of my hog riders which was rather unfortunate but uh, we're still going to make our way around. These giants are actually doing a bit of tanking as well. Uh, I wish I would have had like 32 hogs to do this raid. I probably could have got the job done with about that. Uh, but I didn't I didn't have as many hog riders. I think I this is like right after I reverted from uh, the normal giant army to my hog rider army. Uh, so I think I only had like 24 hog riders to begin this raid with, which is really, really not enough. You want to shoot for at least 28 uh, to do hog rider raids efficiently at Town Hall 10. And that is, you know, assuming you have level 5 hogs and whatnot, because they make a massive difference. Anyways, as you can see here, I didn't really take out all the defenses there. So I figured what I would do is I didn't really have enough infantry to destroy the rest of the defenses, uh, along with the heroes. So what I decided to do is just drop all my troops on the left side of this guy's base and hope that they actually made their way inside and took out the storages and a good bit of the loot. So uh, one thing that I made sure to do was take out his Barbarian King, as you can see here, my king is doing a bunch more damage. Well, not a bunch more damage, but he has more health. And that wizard behind definitely did a bunch of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and use his ability. There's really no need in holding out on it. I um, just want to go ahead and use it to get those extra extra barbs out. And I don't know what he just did. He just went and picked out a bunch of walls and didn't really destroy too much of anything. But he's finally making his way inside. And we're going to see how much this loot we can actually get. This guy had over a million loot on the table uh, when the, the raid was about to start. <clears throat> and now we've got about half of that so far. So we're making pr some pretty good progress on this guy's base. Uh, 
I'm pretty glad that I went from the angle that I did. If I went from the top right, my guys would have probably got wrecked by those defenses. Uh, you know, once I dropped my infantry. So, yeah, it's pretty chill going from the left side. Not Nothing too bad. Just his queen in the way, really, and his king. Uh, but my king does manage to take out his queen along with those wizards. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to manage to get the rest of the defenses. Obviously, we only have 15 seconds left. But uh, my wizards are going to break through this wall on the left, and they're going to be able to get to a bunch of this loot. And I'm not too sure how much of it, but a significant amount. As you can see, they got all the elixir, which is pretty awesome. There's only that gold storage, 138k. Oh my god, so much left on the table. Uh, you know, in that storage and those collectors. But still, we're going to get over 900k on this one. Uh, actually, 960, 970, like almost 980k. A really good amount of loot. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with it. No complaints over here. Uh, Crystal 1 loot is really nice. One thing about it is you'll have to skip for ages at times, which kind of sucks. But Crystal 1 loot is really nice. Really, really nice. I like the loot bonus a lot. Uh, the league bonus, it definitely helps out for skipping. You might have to skip 100 times, but if you find uh, 250k gold with 55k bonus, then you know, you're know you really only losing, uh, well, you're not losing anything. You're getting 200k gold still, uh, and that's after skipping 100 times. So you really can handpick your bases, find inactives. Um, <clears throat> but don't listen to me. Uh, that's, just, that's just what I like to do to farm. So please don't come steal all my loot in Crystal 1 and 2, because, yeah. That's where I like to be. Anyways, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and gem my Archer Queen in completion for 8 gems. She's going to be so sexy at level 20. You can see she finally got her gold freaking bow. So awesome. Really stoked for that. She does heaps of damage. Oh my god, she does so much damage at level 20. And she's amazing. She's just bae. I mean, there's no other way to describe the Archer Queen than bae. So, that is that. Here we are. Next raid. Next, next raid. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, switch back to Giants here as you can see I had two hogs left over uh, Maybe they'll play into a little bit of effect on this gameplay. I don't really know, but we'll find out. So let's see All right, so for some reason I wanted to take out that building first. I don't know what I was doing there I like was, Did I just space out? I mean, I don't know what I, I wish I would have dropped the arches there instead because my freaking Giants just took a bunch of damage to those giant bombs, but that's okay We're gonna go ahead and go in with the healing spell these two hog riders that uh, that rage spell and they're gonna take out a bunch of these buildings really quickly which is nice uh, fortunately this guy obviously was super duper in inactive uh, so you know no no expos or infernos to stress about I actually had some good raids uh, this video I think it was or the last video I'm not too sure where I got some good raids against people with infernos but they were only like 600k uh, so I honestly just went ahead and deleted them because uh, I really just want to get like a really high standard out on this channel of uh, 700k or more when farming unless I'm just like, I don't know, unless, unless I just get like an insane rag with all, ah, ah, unless I just get like an insane raid with all drags, I said rad thinking of raid and dragons at the same time, <laughs> that was weird, but anyways, uh, yeah, or like all P.E.K.K.A.s, then you know, if it's 600k then I might post it, but um, <clears throat> when it comes to these pretty cliche raids where I'm just using the same army composition over and over again, I want to try to get 700k or more in each raid. I think that's a pretty, pretty good amount, if you ask me. So anyways, you can see my troops in the center of here doing work. My Barb King is going to take out this guy's town hall. Now we're up to two stars. Got most of the loot. You can tell it was mostly in his collectors. So I held out on a few gobs and archers. I don't know why I'm dropping them there. I think I start to realize at the last second, like, yo, there's those collectors outside. No, I don't even realize. I don't know what I just did, guys. You can look at that elixir collector and tell it's got a bunch of loot, but I think that he actually had elixir in his storages as well. Yeah, he did. Maybe not as much as was in that collector, but this one was a little bit even on the loot as to where exactly it was placed in this guy's base and uh, to what what was full of loot and what not. Those gobs actually went ham. They just got like 50k elixir. So now I'm finally going to come outside and go for these last two collectors on the outside of the, this guy's base, and they're actually really astonishingly going to be able to destroy it all so only 11k loot about 12k loot left on the table really got an amazing raid here at over 800k <clears throat> after the league bonus of course and yeah really really enjoyed it um still enjoying clash of clans i don't know what else to say man uh 
Loot's been pretty bad after the update. It's really hit or miss, but I'm still enjoying Clash of Clans, and I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what it is about this game that makes me keep playing. Uh, literally, I have uh, I have four builders going right now. I'm about to start my Barb King, uh, level him up, and like literally, it's crazy because uh, I still I still am farming, and I have like three million gold, and I don't even need all the gold that I'm like getting, but I'm still farming for like. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, I probably won't have a builder for like three days, and I'm probably gonna be like capped out on gold. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe we can farm some dark elixir in there. We'll have to wait and find out. This guy, you can see, this was a pretty tight town hall ten or not ten, town hall nine to raid. As you can see, all his loot in the center, just all that gold and all that elixir it looks so nice. I I like uh, raiding raids like that where you could actually see the loot you know you have it's like a little bit more of a struggle to get to it rather than it be all outside in his collectors and it's really easy to get to that way so i enjoy these raids from time to time uh, obviously but anyways as you can see here my giants are kind of they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing i don't know what they're doing they're just like being at walls and they're not really going to the center of this guy's base destroying too much so i'm going to heal them and i'm going to drop a rage spell on my guys in the center of the base um have them go around do a bunch of work as you can see the freaking queen does so much damage oh my god dude like wait till i use her ability i wonder if you can stack her ability on a rage spell that would just be really really crazy if you could do that because she does so much damage like she's so nice at level 20 um as you can see i still haven't used her ability i'm kind of waiting for her to get attacked so i can use it and get her some health back uh don't I don't really need it though you can tell as you can see I pretty much got all the loot so I can pretty much end the battle whenever I think I was kind of going for a three star on this one I don't think I'm really gonna make it though but we're gonna shoot for it anyways uh, just add insult to injury on this guy destroying as many buildings as possible and getting every last drop of loot as you can see we have just this last elixir collector uh, these gobs are pretty much gonna finish it off here and zero this guy out as you can see, both my heroes are alive and have heaps of health, but they're getting the queen is getting hurt now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use her ability. As you can see, she two shots, absolutely two shots, that um, air defense, and they're gonna run around and they they may or may not have three started from there. I think they would have ran out of time. So I went ahead and ended the battle, ended with like 730, 740 k ish, 735 something around there, thousand in loot, and yeah, I'll show you guys my base real quick. And then I'm going to go straight into another raid. Now, this raid was really tight. This was a really interesting raid because I'm doing a giant and wizard raid. I think about 15 giants and 33 wizards and a healer uh, against this pretty AIDS Town Hall 10 base. You can see it's super rushed. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go in here with a bunch of wizards, both my heroes, all my giants, a couple wall breakers, and spells. And we're going to try <laughs> to get this guy and see what we can do as you can see one of his infernos is actually out of commission it's uh doesn't have ammo the other one does have ammo and look at this i don't even use my barb king's ability i don't know what it is sometimes i forget to use his ability and then look i tried to hit it right as he died uh that's kind of annoying it doesn't work like on your screen but it'll work on the little tab i don't know but as you can see here my wizards are getting melted by this inferno uh my queen was getting hurt a little bit and stuff like that but the inferno actually runs out of ammo at the last second and my queen managed to destroy it super quickly with her ability and now she's getting healed which is pretty tight because i don't know like they were supposed to have nerfed the healer on the queen but it's not so bad she still does you know she still does work while being healed uh you can still definitely tell she's getting healed and i have had both my healer or heroes be healed to full health uh, at like the end of the battle. It's really cool because you can just use them straight ahead in the next battle. Uh, so anyways, as you can see here, I'm capping out on Elixir. I'm not too sure what I used it all on. I think I may or may not have needed, needed it at this time. But anyways, I apologize for the fan. Uh, I have just, just the motherboard on my PC to get and then it'll be all put together and I can start streaming and stuff like that. And as you can see, at like the 10 or 12 minute marker, it just gets so loud. Uh, so I apologize for that. Won't have to be worrying about that soon, soon enough, eventually. Anyways, as you can see here, over 700k, over 800k after the loot bonus. Just a pretty awesome raid, once again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Killogue for the win, if you want more updates and to see a little bit on what I'm up to uh, outside of the videos. But anyways, have a wonderful evening, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, have a wonderful evening. Again, I'm out. Peace.